Yeah, they did an interview with me. Um, I mean, I see from both sides. I know these females want to get paid more. Um, and they're very talented, but so is so is a famous ping pong player. They're just as talented as, as a like the best ping pong player is just as talented as the best basketball player. That doesn't mean they're going to get paid the same because it's because right. they it's play what, ping pong. It's what the people want to watch. You know what I mean? So right. as much as I understand females wanting the same treatment as as men basketball players, it's 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 a different sport. People they're not packing out the arenas. Denver Nuggets guard Michael Porter Jr. spoke on the Pivot podcast and said this of as he put it, females. Obviously their TV deals aren't the same. So as much as I advocate for women and kind of the equality of the respect of their craft and all those things, I mean, you can't pay them the same thing, you know, but I do feel like they should, there, there should be a little way to make a little bit more money for right. them because they are very talented. He would then say this of women's hoops. They got a load of rims. I would watch a girl coming down the lane. <sighs> on another, I would watch that. They need to lower They're the actually. He then added this. MPJ, the same dude who spouted the following. No, nah, that's facts. I think, personally, I think that the coronavirus is being used, obviously, for a bigger agenda. Um, and it's being used for population control in just terms of being able to control the masses of people. I mean, because of the virus, the whole world is being controlled. I mean, you're required to wear masks. Um, and who knows what'll happen when this vaccine comes out. You might have to have the vaccine in order to travel. Like, that'd be crazy. I've never been vaccinated in my life. I've never had any shots or anything like that. So it could get crazy, but it's definitely an agenda behind everything that's going on right now. Yes, it's being overblown. And when asked what he does in the bubble, he admittedly watches conspiracy theories where he said, they be facts a lot of the time was a wild admission. Like Jesus came here. He didn't come here to be liked. He didn't come here for none of that. Like he came here to speak the truth. So for me in that situation, as sensitive of a topic as it was, um, you know, I voiced my opinion and that, and that whole, those, those tweets got taken super out of context. Cause I, the first two tweets was like, man, this is, this is straight up like murder. Like this bring tears to my eyes. Then I, ha then I had to think about it cause I was so mad. Like, you know, sometimes you'd be so mad you don't want nothing to do with white people sometimes. Like, mm. like you go to the barbershop and, man, a lot of these dudes, they don't even, like, want white people around. Like, they have a lot of hatred towards towards white people. So I was, when I seen the police officer doing that to, to George Floyd, those were my first thoughts, was, like, those thoughts. Then I was like, man. So my third tweet was, pray for the police officers that God would change their heart because... People just hate hating white. That's not going to change nothing. The same cycle is going to keep happening. So that was that was my point. It wasn't like, oh, they get off easy. Pray for these cops that God forgives them. No, it wasn't none of that. It was like pray that God only God could change the hate and that and that white person's heart to do that to a black person. Like he would have never did that to another white person. You know what I mean? So that was more the message I was trying to get across. But at the end of the day, like when you're trying to speak God's truth or whatever. No matter what you say, man, like it could be surrounding any topic that's going on these days that they're trying to push. It's going to sound countercultural. So you got to get over the trying to keep a perfect image or not being canceled. What are those things that you may say that sound countercultural, Michael? Same dude who said after George Floyd was unalived by Derek Chauvin, as much as you pray for George family, God also pray for the police officers who were involved in that evil. As hard as it is, pray for them instead of hate them. Pray that God changes their hearts. He didn't. Then I remember this quote from Austin Rivers to Rolling Stone's Matt Sullivan in December 2021. Rivers rolls his eyes when he hears conspiracy theories in the locker room, effing wild theories. The one about Moderna mind control again, and then the fake news about Joe Biden and Big Pharma and bed with the Illuminati for millions. They were teammates at one point, were Rivers and Porter Jr. Not saying, but just saying. On Porter Jr.'s I've never been vaccinated line, it appears that was a lie via Maury Povich. In order to attend Mizzou, where he went, all students are required to comply with the two-dose MMR immunization policy, meaning they either need to have received the vax that protects against measles, mumps, and rubella, or be able to prove that they are immune to those diseases, wrote Royce Young. That's just to give an idea of who this individual is. We are not asking you to get paid what the men get paid. 
We're asking you to get paid the same percentage of revenue shared. Okay. You know got what I'm it, saying? Got it, got it. So that's a huge misconception. That's a huge misconception. Yeah. Got it. Okay, for sure. Yeah, because every video is like, oh, this person gets paid this, this, this no. person gets yeah. paid that, right? So I want to be really clear about that. Like, I don't think I, I should get paid the same as LeBron. Right. But the percentage of revenue, like, for example, they sell my jersey in Mandalay Bay. I don't get a dime. You don't get any money from jersey sales? That's crazy. The, in the NBA, um, they have percentages of revenue shared for the players, right? right. So jersey yeah. sales, obviously, their TV contracts. You see these every year, these contracts get bigger and bigger and bigger, right? Yeah. Massive. But but that's because their CBA it negotiates where the, you know, if the owners are making certain types of money, they get that as well. Got it. In the WNBA, that's not the case. WNBA star Kelsey Plum informed the masses years ago on the residency pod. Maybe MPJ should take some notes and not watch as many conspiracy theories on YouTube. Gosh darn it. MPJ, ironically, has two siblings, both sisters, who played basketball collegiately, a sister who plays in high school, and his mom was named Iowa's Miss Basketball in 1983, as he discussed with the boardroom. He's known for wearing Stewie's, which is Brianna Stewart's signature Puma sneakers, yet on the pod he showed he does not understand the depths of this issue at all. SB Nation's Ricky O'Donnell, who has great tweets and write-ups about the Bulls, would write this, Interest in women's hoops is only going to continue trending up with so much great young talent in the game. But the WNBA still has real problems. Teams are often traveling without charter flights. Players' salaries are still extremely low. And the marketing of the league could use a complete overhaul. Women hoopers need more advocates from both the media and men's players, but unfortunately, some men are still stuck in the dark. Porter is getting slammed on social media for referring to women as females. His point about wanting women to dunk before he starts watching is maybe his most insulting of all. Stephen Curry hasn't dunked this season, and he's still pretty exciting. Women's basketball is great, and it absolutely doesn't need above-the-rim play to capture the attention it deserves. And here was the reaction, by the way of what Ricky O'Donnell was talking about. Because, you know, we live in the digital age. You know, when someone says something so incredibly stupid and unfounded, the professionals are going to see it. It's going to reach their phones. It's going to reach their eyeballs. They're going to text each other about it. It's how the game works. And then they're going to respond and defend themselves, which is exactly what they did. WNBA champ Asia Wilson wrote, I need to see the whole interview before I spaz because he ain't in no way said we're the equivalent of ping pong players. Lexi Brown of the LA Sparks sarcastically kind of tweeted, the player that has taken almost 900 threes in the last two seasons wants to see us dunk more? Good point. <laughs> Friend of the show, Chris Williamson would add, I love how MPJ's dumb comments coming out of the same night a freshman named Juju Watkins has dropped 40, 40 through three quarters against the fourth ranked Cardinal when Twitter user Q chimed in as well. Here's what he wrote. The WNBA averages more national broadcast viewers than the NHL by more than a quarter million. Despite that, ESPN will pay the W $33 million in their final year for broadcast rights while the NHL gets $625 million per year. When talking about the W's profit margin, start here.